Hi guys, um, I'm just going to give you a quick video on OneNote and basically how you can use it in your classroom and how you can take a PDF and put it into OneNote so that you can write on the top of it. Okay, so right now I'm in OneNote and I've already created um, several notebooks. Um, so yours is probably looking very um, simplistic compared to mine. Um, you might just see one notebook, but if you want to add new notebooks, you go up and just simply add a new notebook. Okay, and so I'm just going to play with this specific one. Um, on the top you have tab, so it's kind of like a way to organize different things. Okay, so I have a, an Algebra 2 tab, which has um, different pages. So these are all the different pages that exist within this OneNote. Okay, and you can, you can have blanks, pieces of paper. Um, you can write on top of worksheets, which I'll show you how to import those as well. Okay, so I'm going to go into my AP Calculus, and there are two ways to import a PDF. Okay, so you can start by picking the page that you want to um, import it to. So if I'm on this page and say, oh, I want to make this page that PDF, um, all you do is you simply go to Insert, and you're going to choose File Printout. And then you go into wherever you have saved the PDF. And all I do is simply insert it. Okay, so now I have a, um, a, a document that I, I can now write on. Um, I can save it. It instantly saves um, using 2013, and you can access it from anywhere. Um, also, I can save it as a PDF. I can share it with other people and so forth. Okay. So the second way um, to, to put a PDF into your OneNote is, um, let's say you're going to create another page. Okay, and this time, let's say you're on the PDF. So let's say I happen to be on, um, let's just open that one. This particular PDF, maybe I found it on the internet, whatever. I want to be able to write on the top of it. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go to file and I'm going to print. Okay, so I'm going to print it. And instead of printing it to some random printer, I'm gonna print and I'm gonna send it to OneNote 2013. I'm going to choose print, and it's going to send it to my OneNote. And you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen, it started to blink down here and it's saying, hey, where do you want me to put this exactly? Okay, so you could choose to put it anywhere within these notebooks. I'm going to choose current page, the one I just simply opened up before, and choose that one. And it will now be imported into my OneNote, and now I can choose to write on the top of this. Okay, and you have different colors that you can use. You can adjust these different settings. I've already adjusted mine because I like to have access to different colors when I'm um, writing up here. So that is a, a great tool that I use often. Um, another reason I really like OneNote is that you have the ability to take this folder and if you just simply right click on it, um, you have the ability to share a notebook. Okay, so I can share this notebook and let's say I've taken notes and I want my students to, um, to instantly have access to whatever I want them to have access to, whether it be notes or a worksheet or whatever. Um, once I have their address in here and I've shared it with them, anything that I put into this notebook will automatically sync and they will have access to that that notebook okay so if a student has um, any app store so whether it be an Android uh, an Apple product or whatever they can sync it they can sync it on their phone and instantly see anything that you have put out for them so OneNote is a great tool for you to use in your classroom